Hi, my name is Russ Gautier, and I am the instructor for procedural futuristic design in Houdini through Rebel Way. Thank you so much for your interest in this course. I know it's not a typical offering for Rebel Way, this kind of class, so I wanted to give a little bit of information about what it is we'll be covering over uh, the eight weeks of the course. So, of course, we're going to cover how to build something like this uh, from a technical perspective, all in Houdini, uh, with After Effects as our primary compositing tool. Um, but it's going to be a really design-focused course. So we're not just going to be covering the what and the how, but we're going to be covering the why. We're going to talk a lot about the process of design, the, the the process of coming up with these components, deciding how they fit together best. So not only just creating something unique and interesting, but something that communicates really effectively to your audience, something that you can take and, and build on in the future. Um, so we're gonna be building this from scratch. And because design is a iterative process, I'm not gonna recreate this exact pixel by pixel, uh, I'm going to be trying to improve on it. So this will be, you know, several times that I've built this project. Uh, and, and in theory, each time it will improve and just get better. So through that, you're going to see my workflow and creative process. So uh, I actually find that a really useful thing for both newer artists and seasoned pros. Like if you're uh, just starting out, it's really useful just to see how somebody else sort of solves these problems and goes through the process. And I'll be very uh, explicit with my explanations of, of um, you know, why I'm choosing to make the decisions that I am. And then for the seasoned pros, you know, maybe you've done this a ton of times. You've been out in the professional world for a while. I always find it's really useful to just get another perspective on another artist's work, right? So just seeing how somebody else solves the problems can, can sometimes give you some interesting insights uh, that you can take and apply to your own work. But either way, hopefully through this, uh, you'll come away with some new tools in your arsenal. That's really the, the end goal here. Um, we're going to approach this as we would a real world project for a film or a TV show. So that means uh, we're going to be keeping good organizational practices, good naming conventions. Uh, we're going to be given a brief in the beginning of this. We're going to interpret that brief. We're going to go through a design process all the way through final execution and, and what would be delivery of a shot. Um, and you can follow my interpretation, you know, exactly. I'll be showing you step by step. We won't be skipping over anything. We'll be going through every step in the process. Or you can take my interpretation and throw it out the window and just interpret it how you want and do your own thing. That's totally up to you. Uh, but this course is going to give you the tools that you need to make your own unique piece for your reel if you choose to do that. Um, we're going to go in depth with technical explanation of what we're doing. Um, I'll get into all the nodes that I'm using and why. And, uh, and, and so for the people who are fairly new to Houdini, that's going to give you a really good um, kind of technical grounding in, in this rather complex program. And then lastly, we're actually going to be using real world data. So you could totally just make this up on your own, but I always find that if you have the access to any kind of real world data, in this case, we're going to be using real world satellite data. Um, it adds just like a unique richness to your final product, right? Um, and some people care about that and some people don't, but I actually find it to be a, a, a really compelling place to start. Um, and if nothing else, you learn something new along the way. Uh, I actually <laughs> learned a ton about satellites uh, and some of the uh, some of the language around satellites uh, when I was crafting this project in the beginning. So uh, hopefully you'll come away with some unique learning experiences uh, in that sense as well. Thank you again so much for your interest in this course. I hope to see you in the class. Please let us know if you have any additional questions, concerns. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. So sign up and buckle in because we're going to have a whole lot of fun with this one.